everyone, it's Alex of Alex of English Class. Today I'm going to introduce you about giant viruses. Well, there are many microorganisms and they do a war and always fight. Viruses and bacteria and other, well, microorganisms. And then there are some vi giant viruses and other viruses that hunt these giant viruses. And so, first, what are viruses? Well, actually, viruses are actually just a hole full of proteins. And so some scientists call it alive, and other scientists call the, well, infected cells, the viral cells, the real, well, alive, well, viruses, and the proteins just the seeds. And then other scientists just say that viruses are dead material. And then, so, there are many origins of viruses, and there are many assumptions for them. And then, after all these research, the scientists found giant viruses nicknamed gyruses. They thought it was bacteria, but then they were viruses. And so they are giant viruses. Then, what are the origins of giant viruses? Well, there are two assumptions. First, they developed with their host, or second, they took some genes out from the host and then developed themselves. And so, let's see how they infect their victim. First, they find a victim, and then using the natural processes of their victim, they go inside, and then using their genes, they make a viral plasm, a virus factor, and then make a membrane to block off the antiviral genes. And then they start to make gyruses until the victim is full of it. And then they will order the virus to explode and self-destruct itself. And then the gyruses come out and then hunt other victims. And then also, secondly, gyruses are a bit too complex than a virus. This is because they have lots of genes. Well, humans have 20,000 genes, and then virus, oh no, no, bacteria have a few thousand, and then after that, the coronavirus has 15, the influenza and the HIV have... 10. And then, but genes don't mean, well, other, well, intelligence or something, because tomatoes have more genes than humans. And then we think that the more complex the genes are, the more the genes are, the more complex the cell is, and then the more less genes there are, it's more to dead material. But then, gyruses should have low genes, but they actually have hundreds or even thousands of genes. Plus, their genes are pretty unique and have many mystery genes we don't know, and some parts of these genes come from the living cells. And so, scientists say that they could live without a victim, well, on and on. And so, if this is true, virus research, well, can be wrong. And so, then, there are viruses that hunt viruses. They are virophages that hunt these gyruses, and one are Sputnik that actually hunts the mammavirus, which is one of the gyruses. 
So when the Sputnik, well, infects the mama virus, even though they don't have any DNA enough to reproduce, they go in with the virus inside the victim, and then the virophages then start to use their genes to make only few gyruses that actually are very not made properly, so they couldn't infect others. And then the, the virus actually starts to make, well, more virophages. So when the victim dies, there's more virophages than the gyruses. And others, well, virophages put their genes inside the viruses. So even though the gyruses successfully come out of their victim and then successfully infect a different well, victim, the genes of the virophages will affect them, and then the, most of them are virophages. And then, though, bacteria have CRISPR, which is an immune system against viruses, then these gyruses has a something well, immune system against virophages, similar to CRISPR. And then, so, some victims have the, well, genes of the virophages inside their genes, so when a gyrus comes into them, they can use the, well, genome, and then get the virophages to the gyrus. Even though the victim dies, not letting gyruses out to kill their buddies, they let out virophages that kills gyruses. And so, next time when you're boring, think about gyruses. Okay, today I introduced you about giant viruses, nicknamed gyruses, and next time I'll come with a different topic. Bye-bye, see you next time!